Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin and Cardano. Um, today, yeah, we are going to take a look at the charts. A lot happened today, a lot of volatility and some cryptos are moving up quite strongly, including um, Ethereum did quite well here, as you can see on the chart and also especially Solana. But again, they are just moving into further into the target area and towards the ideal retracement levels. And to be fair, for some of these cryptos that have now done really well, actually thinking about and um, putting some additional sell orders on Discord to take some profits in between for everybody who wants to, because I think I will. Um, at some levels, I'm aware that these levels might not be reached yet, but I still wanna have these sell orders placed. Um, and that's for every channel member who, um, you know, silver and gold members who can join Discord there, I will put my buy and sell order. So I'm gonna update them very soon, um, possibly tomorrow. All right, so looking at Bitcoin, what is Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin in my view, he's still in this ABC pattern, yeah? So moving up to the um, high back in April, coming down in a wave ABC. I did relabel this one here. Um, this was before an impulse move. I did relabel that as an ABC now. Um, I think it's absolutely possible to interpret that as an ABC. The problem with the five wave move down that I had here before, it's just, uh, I think I had that left over from an older scenario. Um, it's not valid um, basically, because what you need to have in this ABC here, yeah, this large ABC, where I in my primary scenario here expect the wave C to come below the wave A, I need to have this wave A as a three wave move. This wave B is a three wave move. In the end, it doesn't change anything here in practice, but it's just to have it all correct on the chart. And then this would be a five wave move. Um, I did show you before another alternative that I'm keeping a close eye on and um, showed you that a few times now, and that would be, uh, be an Elliott wave triangle. So you have here your A, you've got your B, you've got your C, you've got your D and you've got your E, and then opposite of the E, you're going to exit that a triangle or range, yeah. So I'm keeping a close eye on that because that's absolutely a valid scenario. It's absolutely possible. Again, based in, in this scenario, you have to have a three wave move here, three wave move up, three wave move down, which probably we can identify here as well, like an A, B, C. Um, and yeah, in that scenario, we could have actually already seen the low. Now, I don't think it's very, I don't think it's too likely but it's possible, so I wanna have a close eye on it. Um, and as soon as I see uh, here more, you know, I think this might become my primary scenario if we really break above 46K, yeah? Because I don't think we have a structure where we can already build an all-time high on, yeah? So any move up now would, in my view, still be part of a correction, yeah? Um, and that is based, for example, on the monthly MACD. The monthly MACD just does not allow Bitcoin, in my view, to build a new all-time high. You know, we've just only just had a bearish cross on the monthly MACD. Um, I think we're gonna see further corrections, but that doesn't mean we couldn't see some temporary upside, you know? Um, so it's, it's really interesting what's gonna happen here, but in this community here, we are prepared for that. Everybody who's been following my buy and sell orders already managed to um, fulfill a lot of these buy orders. Um, so I did buy a lot of these cryptos uh, at the low or close to the low. And um, of course, channel members can follow me with them. This is never financial advice. It's ultimately your own decision, but I am starting to dollar cost average in um, at these levels. I did tell you that because I wanna prepare for different scenarios. And what I would do if this here is really playing out I would take some profits along the way and then buy back lower. Uh, as I said before, I'm not interested to trade very small waves. It just doesn't make sense for me. Um, the profit isn't big enough and also it's just a hassle at the end with the taxes. So I try to catch the larger waves, oftentimes actually more profitable, oftentimes also more um, yeah easier yeah, to trade and actually not that stressful. So. A, B, C, D, E, certainly a valid possibility, but only, and only if we break above 46.3K for me, that would then become probably my primary scenario until then. But even, you know, this, even, the, even this scenario, A, B, C, D, E would suggest we're not finished with a correction yet, yeah? So all of this would just be a corrective scenario and uh, 
we would then come down once more. And even in my primary scenario, I did explain that I think in detail already earlier today, we can come all the way up to 46.3K. Ideally, we wouldn't get above 43.3, but a move above 40, uh, a move above 43.3 towards 46.3 is definitely also valid in this scenario where we're currently here in a wave four and we're just doing a long and boring retracement of the impulse down. Yeah, I still would be very much in favor of this scenario that we're coming down here. I just wanted to make you aware that of course there are other scenarios possible and I'm currently taking very close look at these two. Um, but um, yeah, I don't think Bitcoin has seen the low yet. So it could be that we are really moving higher here in this ABCDE correction. And in this wave D that I just showed you, we could actually come all the way up close to the wave B, right? So around 60, 65K before we then drop once more. That'd be quite good for everybody who wants to take some profits and then waiting for another sell off. But it's too early to really talk about that in detail. That would become only um, my primary scenario if we break above 46.3K. Until then, I stick here with my uh, you know, scenario um, of this ABC and nothing has changed from there because, um, you know, all we are doing is pretty much just in line with expectation. We're moving a little bit higher, uh, moving a little bit up and down in this range here. And what we need to break is that 38.8K level. Today we tried it a few times, failed so far. We did go temporarily all the way up to 393 which is fantastic, which is actually good to see because it's doing just what it's supposed to be doing. Um, but yeah, it's it's taking a while, you know, and that's what we said, a wave four can take a while, can be extremely boring. So far, I think we are in this range of this ascending broadening wedge, actually a bearish pattern. And yeah, we could see quite a bit of a price jump if we break above the uh, 38.8K, but Bear in mind that we have a very strong descending trend line coming down here. And throughout this whole correction, we actually haven't broken it. So this would be the first time that we break it, should we really push towards the 43.3K. So there might be a lot of resistance here coming very soon at around 39 and a half K. Yeah. Yeah. And that is pretty much Bitcoin. So just really waiting. And we just need to see what it's doing, right? Um, as I said before, if we break below 33K, for me, that would be confirmation that we're going into the wave five. If we break above 38.8, then I think we can get quite a bit of a price jump, but we've got this descending trend line here in between that might hold us back again. So yeah, it's really taking a time. I mean, it's crawling up, but it really is taking a long time. Uh, at least it's moving up because this previous wave four that was even worse and that one was the worst here before um the new year right towards between the 4th of um, december and the uh, 5th of january that was horrible that was nothing moved there you know it was just really yeah nothing really so yeah at the moment it did go up to 39 and then jumped down to 38.3 and i think what we see here if i go to the one hour chart it's really just trying to make higher highs here, but really struggling. Um, definitely not an impulsive move here, but a corrective, but still trying to push higher here. So we made in this way for today a new high, which is amazing. And it's just moving along yeah, as expected, really. So that's what Bitcoin is doing. Cardano moving up further as well. I think today it was already at 108, but again, nothing exciting really. Um, fairly uh, yeah, non-moving. As I said earlier today, there isn't really any significant um, movement and not significant volume. And I said earlier today as well that unless Bitcoin really pushes above that 38.8, we're probably not going to see a lot of um, crazy moves here for Cardano. So yeah, really not much more to say here about Cardano, unfortunately. Um, it could at any time um, move if Bitcoin moves as well. And we talked about these scenarios before. I still expect here in the current environment, Cardano to follow this descending channel further. Yeah, it is sitting here between in this channel. And if we moved all the way up here, that breakout of that channel wouldn't be before 145. And to the downside, it would be actually around 60 cents, 65 cents. And um, key levels to watch out for here is this 92 cent level. If we lose that, I think the likelihood is very high that we could then move all the way down to 55 cents. That would be the 0.786 Fibonacci level. 
and um, yeah the lower support is here the 30 cents the 0.887 fib level so you've got your two fib levels that's where the target is sitting after we actually uh, broke the one dollar level this has for now become my primary scenario um, just because the price is always drawn to these fib levels and as the previous scenario did not happen because we just dropped a little bit too far yeah we dropped below a dollar and stayed there actually for a moment um, this is now pretty much the primary scenario in which we have probably already seen here the way for and are now going to see a final yeah correction and that needs to happen in my view before we can really go to new all-time highs so i sincerely hope that for um also in the also in favor for cardano that bitcoin does not do the abcde because the abcde that I did show you, it will take much, much longer and will take much longer than to see new all-time highs. I really hope here for a fast sell-off in a wave five where we go into the region, well, between 28.7 and 20K um, with a range of around 26K would be my ideal level. That's where the 0.618 FIB level is sitting. Yeah, that's the update. Bitcoin Cardano just needs more patience. I know it's hard, but it just needs more patience. And um, yeah, as I said, on this uh, channel, we are actually prepared for both scenarios and which is fantastic because it keeps us calm both ways. All right, hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And if you really like the content, maybe check out the channel membership. And for that, you can find a link in the video description to my website, or you can even um, yeah become channel member here on YouTube. You get both, um, it's basically just another option. The extras are the same, Telegram access, Discord access, with my buy and sell orders and also a weekly live stream. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.